What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, second episode back. I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, in our last episode, we went through all this route, uh, went to the Battle Chateau, and went from Baron to Vizcow, and now we're here, ready to go into the next town right here. I believe it's Amber Town. Now, there are two entrances into this whole location right here, as you can see. Connecting Cave Ahead, this is the shortcut to Cycle or Silas City. Uh, hold on just a sec. Uh, connecting ahead, sadly, here. the Ambrite Town shortcut is southwest from here. Now, the only problem with this area right here is that, uh, well, there are trainers, and I do believe there is a big old boulder around here. So here we go, our first battle, going up against Pokemon Breeder uh, Mercy, and she's coming out with her duck pet right here. Pretty sure she doesn't have any more to stop with us. So here we go. Look at that. Sea water type of one in the front. Ready to kick some butt. Let's go with some quick attack right here. And it nearly takes him out right there. So here we go. I think that's what? Defog? Oh. Really? Defog? <laughs> I always thought that Defog was like a useless uh, HM. What do you guys think? I don't know. Alright, so Fire Type's attacks got weakened, and I'm not using my way on Fire Type. And look at that, Duplet defeated. Doing good. That's good. Mr. Teeny's gonna grow levels. Good thing it won't evolve because it needs an elemental stone. So, we're gonna go with Gaia 3. Our, our goal is still to try and evolve this Pokemon at love, like right now in this episode. Hopefully, we can. And here she comes out with a Pikachu. And you gotta love it. Yes, the jets are flying. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I live like maybe... I don't know. I live like a good section away from the airport. But these guys always seem to just cross by where I live at. And... Guy 3 is going to have to work for this. Look at that. Pikachu defeated. Yeah, buddy. And, well, Mr. Teeny again, growing levels like crazy. And here comes an Oddish, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Godzilla. And seriously, more? God. You, you, you gotta love the Jets. Not the New York Jets, they suck. And here we go, Ember attack. Hopefully that will defeat this guy. And, and yep. Should have defeated him, but that water support thing just like, weakened me, so. Here we go, let's finish this guy off with a little bit of uh, Ember. And a look at that. Alrighty. Look at that. Teeny again, level 7. Pretty lit. And, well, I guess I gotta teach him some moves, right? Alright, so don't need, to, uh, don't need to do any of that stuff. And here she's coming out with Lit Leo, so let's go ahead and switch back to Kakashi Kentucky. Okay, alrighty. Anywho, second episode back, guys, from uh, the whole journey in your Nova. I gotta say, I feel very accomplished. Very, very accomplished. I never won the Unova, uh, the Unova League the Championship. Never was, never could call myself the Unova League Champion until last week. And, well, let's hope. Well, let's take that this momentum. It's all momentum, and before I speak even any, any further, as you can see, there are two big old boulders right here. And unfortunately, we do not have strength. And yeah, it was too good to be true. And we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. I wonder what it could be, and it's a Whisper. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon you can actually find in this area right here. One of them I had my eye on. Sometimes. So hopefully we run into him uh, in the other section. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hmm. If you want to get uh, get to Ambret Town, you'll be, uh, be best off heading back to Route 7. Then take the other entrance to the cave. Oh gee, thanks. Very helpful. Very, very helpful you. Okay, so that right there didn't work. So let's go straight down right here to the, uh, the next entrance. And I'm back, baby. The Connecting Cave, a Zubat Roost, and I think, let's see, yes, how about if I help you, dear Pokemon, uh, rest up? Look at that, 
Pokemon are rested up. They feel 100 again. And, well, that was pretty easy. So, there is a Pokemon here, guys, that I want to capture and want to put on my team. Mainly because it's following the theme of six generations. And, uh, yeah, Portal Zubat is not going to help me. It isn't. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep that one right there. And let's move on. So I'm going to be running around for like about a minute or two. And if I can't find this Pokemon, I will, you know, go off screen, try and find it. And then try and capture it because it's a little hard to capture too. So let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Nope, that's not the Pokemon. It is a tempting Pokemon again. Psychic and fighting type Pokemon. It is a very tempting Pokemon again. Okay, so let's do this again. Come on. You know where you are. I'm running around for you. And no, you're not the Pokemon. Many of you guys already know what Pokemon I want to get. It's just a matter of finding it. I think it's a what? A 5% chance of finding it right here? Maybe one. I don't know. I could be wrong. Check on Bulbapedia for somebody. Look at that. Look at that. I'm surfing. I'm using the bike. Or not the bike, but this, the, the roller skates. And yep, there he is, guys. Hello, the next Pokemon on our team, Unovazori Axu. Now, this is a Pokemon I've been wanting to get for quite some time. I almost thought of getting it back in Pokemon Black. And, oh man, I almost made it faint. Oh crap, okay. Almost made this Pokemon faint. Let's go ahead and use a Luxury Ball right here. I like to use different kind of Pokemon for these Pokemon. Come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in there. Damn it! Bastard. Okay. Alright. I guess we're gonna have to go with plan B, and that is make it par or par uh, paralyze it. So let's go ahead and switch out and have Leah take a few hits. A few physical hits. I mean, seriously, these jets, I swear to god. Oh yeah, you can hear those jets. And here comes the Shurance attack, and come on! Damn it! Okay. So that did not work. Let's go ahead and use another... Another luxury ball right here. Come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the free ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! There we go. Come on, come on. Yes! And there you go, guys. Our newest Pokemon, Axu. The Pokemon from the Unova region. One of the best dragon type Pokemon that you can find, aside from uh, Hydreigon and the other one, uh, the, the scaly one. So here it is, guys. Axu, the test Pokemon, dragon type. It's its game. It is two feet, 39 in, or 39 pounds. They use their tusks to crush their berries. They, the berries they eat. Repeated regrowth makes their tusks strong and sharp. And yes, guys, I already found a nickname for this Pokemon. If you guys have ever watched the very first Spider-Man movie, you know, with Tobey Maguire, yeah, you'll probably remember a certain character in that movie that just made, that made a, an impact. This is for you, Mr. Macho Man, one of my favorite wrestlers in the whole wide world. We're gonna call this Pokemon Bonesaw. I got you for three minutes. Ooh, yeah. That's right. Randy Savage, Macho Man, the goat. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Bonesaw, right here. As you can see, it is a physical Pokemon. Special attacks, yeah, nothing. Mm -mm. Now, in the Unova region, very, very physical, very rare Pokemon. We could have, we could have actually found it over in, uh, what cave was it that we caught Verizon on? Or not Verizon, but... One of the, the, the nobility Pokemon right there. But as you can see, it does have Leer, Assurance, Dragon Rage, and Dual Chop. And it is a lonely nature, don't worry. It nods off. It is a very good Pokemon for our team right here. So now we got one from Kalos. Uh, one from Johto. Believe it or not, guys, Leah's not going to stay on our team very, very long. We got one from... Hoenn? Yeah, Hoenn. And now we got one from Unova. So now we're missing, what, Sinnoh and... Sinnoh and, uh, what was it? And Johto. Okay, so we got two more regions left. 
So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Of course, Bonesaw did a... Yeah, he did a move on us right here. And... Uh, I will be capturing other Pokemon later on, after, like off screen and all that stuff. So here we are in Route 8. Now we're in the Morale Coast, and once you get over here, you'll hear this. Stop right there! <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Fartier doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. And now we got ourselves the Coastal Kalos Pokedex. It was added to our Pokedex. The Coastal Kalos, Kalos po Pokedex will be on your Pokedex's menu, so tap it select it. New encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be on, uh, we'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Okay. Alrighty. So, what they're talking about is this little thingy right here. So now you got two options right here. And as far as we're concerned, we don't have any Pokemon from the coastal area. Well, we've seen two Pokemon from the coastal area. That is Spoink and Cloncher. But now we're going to be seeing a lot more. Like in this area right here alone, you're going to be finding a lot of rare Pokemon. One of them being Bagon. And, well, I thought about getting Bagon. But it didn't really, you know, it didn't really match what I was trying to get. Like what I was trying to get onto this uh, this whole thing right here. Plus, I wanted Axew and all that stuff. So, the next thing. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to find areas right here. We're going to try and get this quickly, and look at that. We found ourselves another item right here. And look at that. An HP up. Always nice. And who is texting me at this hour? God dang it. People keep on texting me. They bug me. Alright, so let's see. Let's see, what do we do right here? Okay, I'm trying to avoid Pokemon right there, because we'll be finding some interesting Pokemon. And... Well, let's see, do I have a Repel? Did I bother to buy repels? Let's see. Oh yeah, we do. Uh, well, we only got one. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. 20 repels. Sure, it's 100 steps, but it will still get us from point A to point B right here. And let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Kind of want to try out Axew or Bonesaw. That's a pretty good name right there, Bonesaw. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Dream big is what I say. You're looking at the future champion after all. Bring it on! Kind of what I would say, except for the dream big part. So here we go. Rising star Paulette wants the battle. And would you look at that? She's coming out with her Axu. So it's an Axu versus Bonesaw special right here. Look at that. Bonesaw. She's at level, she's five levels ahead. And I do not want to risk that. So we're going to be switching to Gaia 3 since it is a fairy type Pokemon. Don't want to get her too quickly right there. And look at that trace. Here's that rivalry. <laughs> it doesn't help when it does have rivalry. I think rivalry. Oh crud, look at that. Took a lot of our HP. Oh, dang it. Never mind. So let me go ahead and switch Pokemon right here. Um <laughs> that was kind of a what was it? Uh, it was lagging just a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to what's his name? Oh yeah, Godzilla 3 game. Okay, so here comes that assurance attack. And it doesn't really do much to us, so let's go ahead and use Dragon Rage on him. Two moves, that's all it takes. Two moves. And yeah, that's scary guys. Okay, so let's go again with another Dragon Rage and are you serious? One. There's two. Hard hitting Pokemon right there. So let's go Dragon Raid for the win. Look at that. Okay, I feel good about myself. And everybody's getting points. Gaia 3 grows to level 20. And we defeated Poet. Yeah, you're no future champion. Not while I have something to say. And would you look at that. Gaia 3 finally evolving. I wonder how long it would have would have actually taken us to actually evolve this Pokemon, but. Eh. It took us like what? This is what? Episode 12? Yeah. 12 episodes to evolve this Pokemon, which is always good. And look at that. It's finally evolved into Curlia right here. And that's good. Very, very good. Okay. So let's go right ahead and just move on right here. Um, 
we have the repel on it. And of course, we do need strength, which kind of it kind of sucks. It really does that we don't have strength. And crud baskets. Okay, I didn't switch out Pokemon, so uh, we'll see what happens right here. So Rising Star Rice wants the battle, and he's coming with his pantry. Look at his Pokemon right here. As cute as a button. Just wait until he evolves. And here comes that mold breaker. So let's go right ahead and use a dual chop. See if we can actually win. So here we go. One. This Pokemon right here is a hard hitter. And that right there was pretty good. And here's another one right there too. I think that it's arm threat. Oh crud. Three times. Okay. Let's finish this guy off with a dragon range attack right here. And bam. Say goodbye. Look at that. Bone Saw's kicking butt right here. Mr. Teeny mooching off our levels. Kakashi Hitake. Look at that. And Skiddo. About to come out with a Skiddo now. Not a hard Pokemon to be. Just a. Uh, whatever. Believe it or not, guys, when I was, uh, I think I was playing Pokemon Y, because I do have a copy of Pokemon Y, I did capture a shiny Skiddo. Uh, a shiny Skiddo. It came in a horde. Yeah, it did came in a horde. So I think I accidentally deleted it with this game, with the Pokemon that came with this game. Ah, oh, crap, wait, I think it was Pokemon X. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, that's always, a. Uh, yeah, that's always fun right there. And, well, look at that. Coming out with a gold bean. So let's go ahead and go to Leo right here now. I am keeping those shiny Pokemon that I find on to the Pokemon Bank, and I will try and I will try and uh, actually send them over to Pokemon Sword and Shield as as soon as I start getting them. Yet to play because I was focused on Sun and Moon. And look at that, no more Goldeen, Mr. Teeny. You're going levels without anything. <laughs> okay, so let's take away Bling Nice and continue on right here. Alrighty. Okay, so look at that. Ooh, it certainly didn't go as it uh, did in my predictions. It didn't. It really didn't. Okay, so let's see. Moving on right here. I don't think there's another trainer for a while. Okay, so we have a little bit more. And there is a trainer right there. So we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go with Gaia 3 right here. Now that it's fully, well, not fully evolved, but it, now that it's evolved. And... Let's go ahead with a super potion for three of these Pokemon right here. And that's one. Let's go with the edge of the three. Bonesaw the first. That Bonesaw. Comment down below what you guys think of Bonesaw's nickname. Okay, so here we go. Black Bell Kadok. Wants the battle and he's coming out with the Macho. Okay, look at that. Okay, at three. Look at that. Now, something that I wanted to talk about. I've had this discussion with my brother. You know, I never understood why Nintendo never came out with like, a third version or you know a, a uh, sequel version to the Pokemon X and Y series. It really bothered me. It really did. Uh, it's just, oh, wow, look at that karate chop. Actually, it bothers me that you know. What was it? Uh, what was it? Pokemon Black and White, they came out with Black and White 2 instead of Pokemon Red. It really did bother me. It bothered a lot of people, but yeah, I can see why they did it. And look at that. But for the 3DS, I kind of, yeah, it kind of felt like, kind of felt lack lackluster that they didn't uh, do anything with the... Uh, with the X and Y, it was like, you know, unfinished and stuff, mainly because of Zygarde, and it, it, it kind of sucks that, like, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, that's where, like, the Zygarde story continues on and quite possibly finishes. I mean, I just, uh, I just completed finding all its cells and cores and all that stuff. I really love what they did with the Pokemon right there. It's just... You know, again, it, it feels a little lackluster that they just didn't complete, or they didn't have a sequel to Pokemon X and Y. And look at that, we found ourselves a Leaf Stone, a nice uh, addition to our, our little items right there, and we're going to be going back right here. Now, 
if Nintendo actually, you know, if they weren't lazy, or if they didn't, if they weren't so busy with like uh, going with Pokemon or as, what do you think they would have came out? With? Do you think they would have came out with Pokemon uh, Pokemon Z, or would they come out with a Pokemon X and Y too? I kind of feel like X and Y too. And would you look at that? Hi there, neighbor. Huh? Look at that. Oh, well, hello there. This is Ambret Town. You just go through the aquarium to get to Silent City, but first we have to go to the fossil lab and have to tell uh, or have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn that there's something about those mysterious stones related to Mega Evolution. Probably, probably. Okay, so we reached our destination, right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be taking a tour of Ambret Town and quite possibly doing a little more than just taking a tour. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.